popular grocery store closing its doors. It's a Vons grocery store here at Durango and Desert Inn. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne went to the store to see what's happening. By all accounts, this Vons is very popular and very heavily traveled, leaving customers with questions and, as is often the case in these situations, not a lot of answers. We actually live quite a distance, but we like this store so much we come here and uh, we always find some really good bargains. And there are already plenty of bargains now that Vaughn's store on Desert Inn in Durango is closing. Signs already saying 75% off, the Starbucks closed a couple days ago. But the pharmacy is still open, which is one of the selling points for Michael Playstead and his wife Nancy. We've been getting all our vaccine shots here for years because for some reason they never hurt here. I come like. here every every other day. Colleen Hill stops by on her way home. She uses a lot of stores. Still, it's an inconvenience. Did they give you any reason why it might close, be closing? No. Nope, I went to find something and he says we don't have it anymore. It's gone. We're closing. You guys go ahead and do your thing. Customers hearing that the store will close in early November. This store manager says it was, quote, just part of doing business. Can you tell us why it's closing? Really, just we make these decisions, um, they're difficult decisions, and we just make them. Because it's a very popular bond. It is. Would you say this is an inconvenience? It is. It's a huge inconvenience because now I got to go all the way down to either Albertsons or cut up to Smith's on Fort Apache, so it is inconvenient. The good news for those customers is there are five bonds within 10 miles of here. Reporting at Durango and Desert Inn, Kyle Payne. 8 News Now. After Kyle left, Albertson sent a statement. It reads in part that this Vons quote is slated to close to help strengthen operational efficiencies. The decision was difficult and involved a lengthy evaluation. The store's exact closing date has not been determined.